Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Uh, my name is Venkatesh. I am a DevOps engineer. So in this video, we are going to see how to create a servers and uh, connecting that load balancer, how we can access those servers. So this is a sample video. You can use it for your uh, learning purpose. Uh, if you never uh, uh, worked on that kind of stuff, you can uh, refer this video. So let's dive into the video. So I'm going to launch an instance. So I'm going to launch uh, two instance initially. So both are going to uh, will be like a Amazon Linux. And um, I have uh, the uh, like a AMI, uh, same as for this uh, latest one, uh, which is on the free tire eligibility. And uh, I have the instance type, which is of a T2 micro which is a free uh, you can use and I have the key already. Um, so let's anyway, we can create a new key here um, for uh, for this uh, demo uh, demo key. I'm going to mention as a demo key and it is a uh, PEM. Okay, so create a PEM key. Uh, I got downloaded with this key. Uh, then uh, I'm going to allow in my security group, uh, which is uh, like only as a sketch. And um, I also need HTTP. Uh, I will also enable HTTPS. Um, so the the uh, the storage which is going to be uh, eight GB, <clears throat> and I'm not going to add any further uh, storage. So let's uh, launch this uh, instances. So you can see here. Um, so the servers are uh, right now, which is under pending status. I will pass the video. Uh, it should become for uh, up and running. Now you can see uh, my uh, both instances are up and running. Uh, I named as instance A and instance B. Uh, let's connect this instance to uh, my uh, PowerShell. So here is my Windows PowerShell. Um, you can see I'm going to connect. Um, so currently uh, I'm in the downloads. Uh, so in this path, so I have the key uh, SSH sketch iPhone I. Uh, this is my key and uh, easy to iPhone user and uh, the key name um, and the public IP. So uh, let's uh, enter, um, give it as S. So I connected my instance. Let's switch into the uh, root user. Here I'm going to install um, uh, uh, HTTPD, m install HTTPD iPhone Y. So uh, once I installed, um, I'm going to um, add the file right or www HTML. In this path, I'm going to create a file called index.html here i'm going to um give some name so um so like h1 then uh instance a then slash h1 let's save this one and um uh, m uh, uh, m install. Let's uh, check the status system CTL. System CTL status HTTPD. Uh, it is inactive. We need to start this. HTTPD system CTL start HTTPD then again the status now you can see it is active let's uh, hit this public IP into the browser so we can see here uh, this is my instance a web page same like I'm going to um, install HTTPD and then I will start my instance. So 
I have one more power shield here. And let's clear this one and CD downloads. Let's log into the server SSH I. And here is my key name EC2 iPhone user at the rate of the public IP. So this is my public IP. Enter S. Switch into the root user now. Then I will install HTTPD package. Then I will start the service. System CTL. System C system CTL. Start HTTPD. Let me check the status. status httpd so you can see now uh, it is on active status control z let's clear the screen and uh, move on to the path of war wwhtml why we are moving to this path this is the path of our uh, httpd package so we need to uh, keep our packages in this path. So that's why we are moving to this path. HTML, here we don't have any uh, files here. So I'm creating index.html uh, and editing this file, index.html. Here I'm naming as instance B and then save. Okay, now uh, using the public IP, we have we need to hit um you when you uh use uh any uh instance uh like your index file uh or apache need to be um display on the internet you have to um enable the port in the security group we have already enabled using um http and http so that's why we are getting this page if you are not getting this one you you need to check your security group okay so save this again i'm refreshing the page you can see instance b you can see here uh, under security um, so here we we need to enable this port number so so right now only you will get Okay, so next we are going to uh, create a, a load balancer. So there are uh, different types of load balancer. So classic load balancer, application load balancer, network load balancer, and as well as a gateway load balancer. You can see we have a classic load balancer. Um, so there are different types of load balancer. So in this uh, demo, we are going to use an application load balancer. So create application load balancer. Um, so my uh, load balancer, I'm giving the name. So there are uh, different types. You can keep it as an internet phasing or internal. So I will tell you uh, what is internet phasing and what is internal phasing. Uh, you can see uh, in this diagram. So we have the load balancer here. And um, we have like a uh, different instances in our account. So what it is going to do, load balancer basically going to uh, split the traffic to your instances. That's what load balancer is going to do. So it can be uh, inside your VPC. All should be inside your VPC. And uh, you can also add one more load balancer inside this okay um so this is not going to be internet facing uh, this is internally you are creating your load balancer but this load balancer alone going to communicate with your internet this load balancer does not going to communicate with your internet it is going to communicate with your instances alone so like that also you can create so that is internet and uh, internal load balancer Okay, 
So I'm going to create only internet phasing load balancer. And here I'm going to choose the uh, VPC. So which is going to be default one. I'm not creating any new VPC. And you can create here availability zones. Um, so availability zones are like a, a data group of data centers. And uh, here I'm going to create the um, security group. So this is my security group here. And if you uh, don't have any security group, uh, you can use as well, uh, you can create the new security group as well. So I'm not uh, going to create the uh, new security group. I'm going to use the same security group, which I use it for my instance. So that's why I'm using launch wizard, same security group I'm using here. And here we have to uh, create our uh, target group. Okay, so target group, basically group of instances, uh, we have, we are going to target our instances using the target group here. Um, so for creating target group, uh, you have to uh, uh, go into the target group uh, section. Here I'm going to target uh, my instances. So I'm giving the name as a target group one. And um, so my instances going to be target. And um, is there any health check do you want to do? So my health check basically I'm going to create um, like a var ww html under that I have index dot html file. So this is my health check. Health check is basically uh, whether your instance whether alive or not it will go and check. The ping response will go and check every time. Uh, based on your health check settings. So I'm going to go with everything as a default health check. So you can modify as your wish. Uh, health check tr uh, threshold and unhealthy. Uh, if it is two times filled, then it will get unhealthy. And uh, the response time will be uh, like a five time, five seconds. Uh, time out like a five seconds and interval. It need to be checked like a uh, 30 seconds once it will do the health check. So everything you can do modify. And if you want to add any tags, you can do that. So here I created uh, uh, the uh, target group. Under that, you have to uh, add your instances. Okay, these are two instances which is currently running. Uh, you can go and see um, in the console as well. So you can, uh, if you go to the EC2 dashboard here, you can see here um, there are the instances which is currently running. Um, so these instances only we we have we are going to target. So this is going to target via port number 80 and you have to give include as pending. So currently it is pending. Let's create target group. So you, you can see now. Um, so we have created the target group. So this is my target group PG1. So, uh, and it is not associated with any load balancer. Okay, we only created the target group right now. And once uh, you created this target group, you can come and check, uh, we have the old target group. So get the new target group you need to refresh. Uh, we, here is my new target group, TG1. And uh, you can come down and uh, so load balancer, tax, if you want anything, you can add, this is the summary, create load balancer. So oh, it's, uh, it's saying, okay, let's give some underscore here. Only uh, A to Z, okay, let's create, okay. I'll create a load balancer 001, create load balancer. So next, we need to wait for some time to get the state comes available. Uh, before that, I'm going to stop this video. Now you can see in this window, our uh, load balancer state become active and uh, we have uh, the uh, DNS uh, record name, so uh, which is a A record. Uh, this is a DNS name. 
using this uh, dns we can uh, do the uh, do and uh, check the whether it is working or not before that i have done one modification as well uh, i will show you um, before it was like a, a unhealthy so i have uh, done the health check uh, right so the in the health check path i have mentioned var ww html under that html right index.html so you have to uh, it's already in the var ww uh, html path so you need to specify only the file name which is uh, you are uh, created or any file you want to uh, do the health check under the path of var ww html so for that case, in that case, I have uh, only specified uh, with index.html. And while you do save, you can see here, uh, we have to uh, give slash as well because it is under HTML directory. So here I changed that, uh, the thing. Um, so once uh, I changed this, uh, you can see, uh, you will get a save button because I already have under the path of um in the slash index.html so once uh, you have to do that and if you want to make sure uh more uh, uh checks uh which is need to be frequently checked you can change the interval i changed the health threshold from five to two and unhealthy which is on same two and uh time out which is on before 30 and i change it to five and interval before it was like uh, uh 20 uh, i think 30 so i make it as a 15 um so and success ratio uh, should be like a 200 only okay so uh, we should not change this if you change this uh you will get an error okay so http must be between 200 to uh, 499 so i just changed it to 200 uh same as it is so wait for some time uh once you have done the changes and uh, you can uh, meanwhile you can see uh, with the refresh you can check uh, it, if you getting unhealthy then it will become as a healthy so once it become healthy you can go to your load balancer here and in your load balancer you can see your uh, dns name uh, take this uh, dns name and uh, hit on to your browser so once you hit on the browser you can see uh, the traffic sorry as i said you you need to copy this uh, dns name and uh, open the new browser and paste it and enter you can see here uh, right now my traffic is routed into instance b and you can do refresh now it is uh, routing into instance A. Again, when I refresh, it is into instance B. So the traffic is equally splitting to my instances when I get a traffic. So this uh, this URL uh, your use end user will use. For that, uh, we will create a route 53 as well. So in the route 53, nothing. It is a DNS. You can create your domain name and uh, purchasing the domain name and that particular domain name you can give it to the route 53 and you can integrate with this uh, load balancer dns name um, by that way uh, end user will access the website i hope this video is helpful and uh, if you got some idea about uh, how the load balancer will work and uh, how you are creating your uh, instances with load balancer uh, then you can give thumbs up, uh, uh, subscribe my channel. It will motivate me for to making more videos. I, uh, thanks for watching. Um, stay tuned for more updates.